of the vlog. It's already four o'clock. 
Yep, just gone. Four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I've spent most of the day chipping away the bark on this piece of, which I think, sycamore. Big piece of sycamore. It is sycamore. Um, now the bark was quite hard to get off, but one of the reasons I took it off uh, you may have noticed was there was some worm in the bark so I didn't want that worm I mean it's probably not going to go any further once the whole piece has been treated but I didn't want that worm to go into the wood proper so I just removed the bark I've actually left the wany edge on that far side we're marked out to cut this side here at the moment and once that's done we'll be taking a little bit of this slab off and creating what is essentially uh, a, a square edge for bar staff to work behind. And I also made this router jig to try and square up, level the whole slab in one go with the router and a flat bit just going backwards and forwards. But I'm looking at the slab and there's a considerable amount of cuppage and twist in the board that combined with some bow means that if I start to reduce the thickness of this board to get a flat surface we'll probably be reducing down to nothing on one end. The other option is to cut the board into sections, square it up and then biscuit joint it back together which means I'll have to buy a jointer and a biscuit jointer you know, a jointer planer and a biscuit jointer, which I'm quite reluctant to do off the bat. So, what I thought I would do instead is I'll still set this router jig up, just have a quick play with it, see if I can just take most of the cup out of the section of timber, and then we'll just leave a little bit of twist and bow in it, and we'll build the bar to sew. Then the slab of sycamore holds its character when it's put into the pub. I think that's going to be a selling feature, you know. It's not like it's going to be somebody's coffee table. It's mine. I'm building it for myself. So hopefully it's going to be uh, it's going to be fantastic when it's finished with with all of the character that it started with. Uh, so this will sit across two planks of wood to give me a perfectly flat base to run the router backwards and forwards and we'll incrementally go down the slab. Uh, I've got the door shut at the moment uh, because we've actually got caustic recirculating in one of the tanks. I don't think I'm going to get around to kegging the beer next week or if I do it'll be late on so I'm going to transfer it into a clean tank off the sedum bed hence the caustic so that process uh, We'll probably not be able to pick up on that, but I will do it another time. I'm just focusing on this a lot. I'm focusing on this more than anything this week. But essentially, we're just going to clean the tank, purge it with CO2, and then transfer the beer in. And it's like it's sat in a corner keg for a week. It'll be fine.
Well, no one can say I'm nothing but committed. You see, Jezza is telling you it's 10 to 8. We managed to get the board pretty damn flat and level, if you ask me. And let's just get down and have a look along. What do you think to that? Even though we've lost a bit of thickness on this edge, it's not the end of the world, but it's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. So we're gonna be coming back in tomorrow. Uh, the battery's flashing at me, so I'm gonna make this quick. We're gonna set up the welder, clean this up, and maybe get another piece of this timber out. So tune in for Saturday's edition of the vlog. We'll see you then. The battery's gonna die. See you tomorrow. I'm gonna to have a beer. I'm gonna have some vacant gesture. See you later.